orchestras in New York City and also later in California in the studio orchestras, which is really how I made my connection to the film scoring world. I first began to play in Columbia studio orchestras in the 1950 orchestra in the 1950s when, the, when the, that studio had a contract orchestra. Yeah. A beginning, please. And I would sit at the piano, and if I had a few bars rest, I would look up at the screen and try to figure out how they were matching the action on the screen to the music in the orchestra, how they were conducting it. It was a wonderful school for me. I really didn't intend to do it, but I found myself as a very young man, just out of school, sitting in that orchestra, playing, but also learning. One. In a few years' time, Williams went from playing in the orchestra to conducting his own scores. His body of work now includes the scores for nearly 80 films, from some of the most unforgettable movie experiences of two generations. That connection between music and people who may or may not even have seen the film, but know the music from the whole sort of cultural wash that they get from all of this around the world, incidentally, is, it's, I must say, I get a huge kick out of that. His world-famous scores are largely a product of his work with two close colleagues, Steven Spielberg and George Lucas. I've been so lucky in my in my career with working with so many great directors, especially George Lucas and Steven Spielberg. They are in touch with some part of the child in them, which is where where artistic endeavors really kind of live. I think if you can get back to that child state of imagining what can't be, I think we go a long way towards the, making the first step in good creative and good artistic work. and of the Son, and of the Holy Toast. Williams's imagination has won him 37 Academy Award nominations. He's been awarded five Oscars, 17 Grammys, and three Golden Globes. This year, the nominations are mounting again for his most recent score for Angela's Ashes. Stop your truck and get back to your seat. Musically, I loved it. I didn't use a particularly vernacular Irish idiom in the music, but a sort of more general emotional approach. To, to put it in a sentence, what does a composer mean to a film? I guess he really attaches himself to, to the soul of the film, to the core of the characters, to, the, to that part of the film that's beyond the language used in it, maybe even beyond the action that we see, but somewhere close to the center of the spiritual core and soul of the story and the characters. He has worked tirelessly in the film world, balancing his love of storytelling with 13 years of conducting for the Boston Pops Orchestra. So much popular music that's done now around the world is done, not entirely, but, but to a great extent by synthesizers, which are machines that are very exciting, and they will, they will produce sound sources that are heretofore unheard of. But for me, the symphony orchestra has always been probably one of the great inventions of the mind of, of Western culture, at least. An invention that combines string instruments with wind instruments, wood instruments with brass, and, and instruments with skinhead of the percussion area and glass, bells of all kinds. All these textures thrown together in a kind of ordered way. The moment where you first play the music with the orchestra, with the film, we see the film because we're accompanying it, uh, but having worked in a room for six or eight weeks writing all the music and then having suddenly it, it being, having it brought to life by the orchestra is still for me the most exciting moment. When you look back over your career, is it everything you imagined it would be? My career is certainly uh, a surprise to me. I couldn't possibly have imagined. 20, 30 years ago that I would have had the opportunities that I've had to work with the people I've worked with, with the orchestras I've been able to conduct. And for me, it's a constant challenge every day and a, renew, and, and a challenge to renew it every day. I work 
every, six days a week at writing or performing. And my objective is just to improve and get better if I can. And that's, that's my job. And I've been rewarded beyond my dreams in it. Great.